then we catch up with a former NFL player from Minnesota now focused on giving his brain a workout. Now a follow-up to a story we did back in the spring. Randy Shaver profiled a different kind of training for a former NFL player, hoping to improve his long-term memory after several concussions. Randy is live in St. Paul with the latest on Ben Utek. Hi, Randy. Hi, Julie. I've known Ben Utek since he was a star receiver at Hastings High School. He's a great guy, has a wonderful family, and he was absolutely terrified at losing his long-term memory because of numerous concussions playing football. So in the spring, he embarked on a critical mission that has produced some amazing results. Black, blue, red. This was former NFL tight end Ben Utek five months ago. 10, 13, 12, Beginning a 20-week, 100-hour journey 12, to strengthen his long-term memory. Eight, he was skeptical 13, at first, 11, but Ben 12, would come to Learning eight, Rx and Savage two to three times a week to one, train his brain two, through multiple memory drills one, with designed two, distractions one, two, done three, at a quick pace, four, forcing him to focus on the task. No, no, he was a desperate man. Desperate because multiple concussions from playing football at all levels, including five years in the NFL, had taken its toll. Desperate because of this. I can't say enough how scary the idea of losing the names and faces of my wife and my children is to me because of playing a game I love. Red, yellow. That desperation Red, turned into hard work, 12, which has in nine, turn, eight, some 100 hours nine, later, 14, changed nine. his life forever. Ben's percentiles went from like the 17th to over the 70th at one memory measurement. The other went from the 12th up to over the 90th percentile in, um, in memory. In other words, yellow, Ben's ability black, to retain information, blue, which is red, fundamental in his yellow, ability to think clearly red, and think correctly, nine, six, has been strengthened seven, beyond eight. his wildest dreams. I called my mom, Randy, and it was almost the same reaction that uh, she had when I told her that I was going to be a gopher. You know, she just started crying. You know, what connects us all together are the memories we create. And so if, if, if because of learning our ex from today moving forward, those memories are now uh, safe, then that just, man, that just, um, I just don't have words to, to describe how happy that makes me feel. Well, Ben told me this program has changed his life and he gave me an example. His parents celebrated their 40th wedding anniversary and they were recounting certain things during the last 40 years and he was filling in the blanks for them on things that they had forgotten about when he was a child. And he said that has never happened to him since uh, he finished playing football. So it's an amazing turnaround for Ben. We're very happy for him. And Julie, he says he will continue doing maintenance with this program in order to continue to have the memories that he has right now. The, the key thing is not to lose the memories that he has now. He knows he can't reclaim some that he's lost, but he doesn't want to lose what he has right now. And so we're very happy for him. Great program. Yeah, and I'm happy for him too. He's humble enough to say, I'm going to go get help. And I was wondering that. So it's just maintenance from here on out, not maybe as intense, but he just kind of continues to do that program. Yeah, probably once or twice a month just to kind of stay sharp, yeah. And if you're wondering why I'm here in St. Paul, big high school football game tonight, we'll talk more about that coming up at 6 o'clock. Hopefully the rain will stop. <laughs> How miserable. Great story, though. Thank you, Randy.